Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a tutorial and I'm pretty stoked because I feel like it's been a minute since I've done a tutorial and I'm also stoked about the fact that it's all drugstore. If you guys are Beauty Vault OGs, you'll know that I absolutely love doing full face drugstore makeup looks. This is one of those videos. Everything I've used on my face today is drugstore and I think I'm gonna call this daytime glam. It's not as dramatic as say a really deep evening smoky eye but it's still glamorous in its own right. Thought I'd zoom you in so you can get a better idea of what I'm working with. I would recommend this look for anybody going to a wedding or a baby shower or on a hot date. Pretty much anything where you're wanting to look glamorous and elegant but don't really feel like throwing on the smoky eye with the wing liner if you know what I'm saying. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoy drugstore makeup tutorials and I will continue pumping them out. Alright, let's do this. So I'm starting out by priming my face with the NYX Angelville Skin Perfecting Primer, which I've said before is pretty comparable to the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I'm not sure if it's an exact dupe, but they're pretty damn similar. For foundation today, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation in Classic Ivory and Natural Buff. So I'm mixing the two and I'm buffing them into my face using a Real Techniques Dual Fiber Brush. For the under eye area today, I'm using an oldie but a goodie. I'm using a bit of the Maybelline Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer and I'm gonna blend it out with a damp Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And then for a little bit more coverage, I'm applying a tiny dot of the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light, I believe, under each eye and I'm also gonna blend that out. To set my face, I'm using the CoverGirl Translucent Loose Powder with this flat top elf brush, which is bomb.com. I keep one of these in my purse for touch-ups throughout the day. And to set my under eye area, I'm using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in Ivory. And I love this one because it kind of has a yellow undertone to it and it really brightens my under eye area. Moving on to the steamy part, my brows. I'm filling them in today using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this has very quickly taken place of all my other brow products. Super easy to use and yes, it is very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I like to use this to fill in my tails and then very light-handedly, I like to fill in the sparse areas in the front of my brow and the shade I'm using is taupe. To set my eyebrows, I'm using a clear brow gel by Essence Cosmetics, and I'm only using this product on the front of my brows. On the remainder of my brows, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Expert, and I'm focusing this on the tail because I don't want any extra color or body to the front of my eyebrow. Onto the eyes, I'm starting out by priming my eyelids with the Essence Cosmetics Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base, and I'm blending it in with a Real Techniques brush. This is my Ride or Die Drugstore Eyeshadow Primer. I think I've used it in maybe like 60% of my videos. Now I'm taking this NYX eyeshadow in Skin Tight and applying it all over my eyelid as a base wash of color. I think the brush I'm using is like a fiber brush by Morphe. Then I'm taking this chocolate matte brown shade called Your Majesty and this is by Jordana Cosmetics and I'm placing it just on the outer portion of my crease. And the brush that I'm using is from the Art Store. I've used it in a ton of my videos and you can learn more about my Art Store brushes in a video that I've linked below. I'm building this shade up just enough so that it's apparent and defined, but not too dark. Now I'm taking another Art Store brush that is kind of like a pencil slash defining brush. And with it, I'm running a bit of this Wet n Wild eyeshadow in Panther along my lash line. And I'm slightly dragging it into the outer edge of my eye. I'm not pulling it as far into my crease as I applied Your Majesty just focusing it on the very outer edge of my eye. Panther, by the way, is a really pigmented, amazing drugstore eyeshadow. Then, with whatever is left on this fluffier Artster brush, I'm blending the two shades into one another and lightly intensifying that outer edge. Sometimes I catch myself describing things and I start wondering if I'm even making any sense. I really hope I am, but regardless, you guys have the visual to sort of follow along with what I'm doing. Okay, onto the fun part. I'm taking a bit of Glitter Glue by e.l.f. and I'm placing it on the portion of my eye that doesn't have any eyeshadow besides that initial base shade and I'm using I believe a synthetic elf brush to do this 
with yet another Artster brush. Y'all know how much I love my Artster brushes. I'm taking this Essence Sparkling Effect eyeshadow and it's in Dance All Night and I'm placing it in the tear duct of my eye and I'm also patting it slowly towards the center of my lid. Once I feel like I've built it up enough, I'm gonna take that same brush and this e.l.f. Loose Mineral eyeshadow in the shade Celebrity and I'm packing it on the remaining portion of my lid. Celebrity is a really gorgeous light champagne shade and I'm doing this very slowly and neatly and I'm only taking it just below my crease. Elf loose mineral eyeshadows by the way are bomb. I'm pretty sure I've bought every single one and I feel like they're totally underrated. Then I'm pressing a bit more of that Dance All Night eyeshadow right in the corners of my eyes just to open up that area. I'm taking a bit of white eyeshadow and I'm placing it just below my brow hairs onto my brow bone. This one is also by Jordana Cosmetics. I believe it is in the shade White Lie. And then I'm taking another Artster brush with a little bit of Panther again and I'm just pressing it into my lash line. Because I'm not doing an eyeliner today, I still want the lash line to have a little bit of definition and smokiness because I feel a bit of eyeshadow will help the false eyelashes blend in more naturally. And I also threw a little bit of white eyeliner along my waterline, but I was totally out of frame for it, so you're not gonna see it here. I'm coating my top and bottom lashes with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black and and I'm popping on a really natural pair of falsies by the brand Salon Perfect, and this is in the style 53. This is a multi-pack I purchased from Walmart in the States. Now I'm warming up my face with the Essence Cosmetics Sun Club Matte Bronzer for blondes, and I'm hitting up my forehead, my cheekbones, my jawline, and then I'm running a bit along my collarbone because that area has gotta be the fairest part of my entire body, and it ain't right. The struggle is real in the summer for me because it's sunny outside, but I never really get to see the light of day because I'm always working. Now I'm just touching up my under eye area again because I'm obsessive over it. And then for blush, I'm using my current favorite, the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in True Plum, which I raved about in my June favorites video. It's a gorgeous plum shade with a light sheen. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Today, I'm playing around with this cream to powder highlighter by Essence in the shade Look on the Bright Side. And with my fingers, I'm lightly patting it on the tip of my nose because I think it looks cute. And then on my cheekbones. I totally should have left it at that because it looked nice and subtle, but instead, I fucked it up and I layered it with this e.l.f. blush and got a glow. I don't know if it's just me, but I swear this e.l.f. blush looked a lot nicer when I first purchased it a year or two ago. I feel like the quality of the ingredients have gone to shit over time and it just applies totally chalky now. So definitely skip that step. I'm pretty sure NYX has a very similar blush, which is like a dupe for Albatross by NARS, which I will list in the description box. And now onto my lips. I'm starting out by lining them with the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in East End Snob. And then I'm topping it with this Essence Cosmetics lipstick. And then I'm going back to the lip liner and feathering the two shades into one another. So there's kind of like that natural gradient. And to finish it off, I'm using a little bit of gloss, and this one is Essence XXXL Lip Gloss, and I believe it's in Nude Mood, just for a little shine. And that, my delicate little snowflakes, concludes my daytime glam drugstore makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want more drugstore makeup tutorials. I have the two Le Nude palettes by L'Oreal, and I really wanna do looks with them because I've had them for so many months now, so, let me know if you're into that idea. As usual, all of the products that I used will be listed in the description box below, along with all of my social media platforms. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.